Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the second video from On The Road here out of my VW T6 currently in Portugal. Well, I'm sitting on my desk setup in the back of my van with a really nice view. That's quite nice working place. Today it's all about the workflow from a 3D scan with a device like this, the Einstar Vega, to the digital design of a conversion kit like this for a van that fits like a glove and really uses every tiny space. My conversion kits are non-permanent. That means you can take them out in just a few minutes to still be able to use the van as a normal transporter or family van or whatever. And still they need to be very space efficient because I want to have quite a lot of features in them and still some storage space. So, and to fit all this into a small van like this is not that easy and only possible through modern technology like 3D scanning and digital design and then uh, digital fabrication as well. In the last video I've posted, well, thanks for the very nice comments on this one. You can actually see uh, this special conversion kit in use and see almost all the features of it. So if you haven't seen that, check this out. For the upcoming project, which is actually my brother's van, space efficiency is quite important because his van is a bit smaller than this one. Even though he is a outdoor sportsman, so he needs quite a lot of equipment because he's not dedicated to one outdoor sports but to several so he needs quite a lot of different equipment to transport in his van. About this 3D scanner from Einstar I already made a video a while ago and since then it got quite a few updates and also the software which, uh, that comes with it for the computer got some updates which are really nice. The van of my brother is a Renault traffic and uh, we already scanned this. You can see the process right here. This is obviously not my brother's van. This is actually Janis van, but the process is the same. So here we go. With this new scanner, we first tried to scan without the markers that you know from the last scanning video. And this worked a lot better than with the original Einstar, of course, because of the bigger field of view. But still, the data was just too much with such a big object to scan. So in the end, we ended up using the markers again, but we needed a lot less markers, I think only one third of them. So this minimizes the work of, well, sticking all the markers inside the van and getting them back off a lot. The use of this scanner model is a lot improved compared to the original Einstar, as you don't need a cable attached to a computer. And what makes it even more simple is that you have the screen right, right on the device, so you can easily see what you are actually scanning. This makes life a lot easier and even the scanner was able to scan the whole van in one go. This is just awesome. When the scan was finished, we also did some measurements to check if the scale of the scanned model is right. So we tried to measure two points in the real world, in the van, the diagonal with a laser disto and we tried to measure the same two points in the digital model and this was pretty equal. We did it like three or four times and we were only one or two millimeters off each time, sometimes higher, sometimes lower, so that's probably human error. And we also scanned quite a few other parts, for example a helmet and his biggest bike and his skiers and a air pump for his bike. So these are the equipment parts with a weird shape. So these we scanned so it's easier for me to make a design where these complex shapes fit in. So for this helmet I already tried to clean this scan and uh, get rid of all the data that um, that I don't need, but for example the bike is still a more complex shape and you can see it was, well, 
it stood next to my table saw and uh, I need to get rid of all this and this is something I can do on Vega itself that's really nice with this scissor, scissor symbol over here and now I can zoom in a little and then use like this tool to cycle everything I want to delete. This step doesn't only work on the device itself, which is pretty nice if you want to directly, well, export this to your phone to send it to somebody or to use it in a computer game or something. But if it's more complex and you want to use it in a CAD software, you have to export this onto the computer anyways to further process it and to export it. So I can do this clipping or this deleting of data on the computer as well, which is a little easier. So let's take a look at the software Star Vision that comes with it. This is the bicycle and well, seems like I've already cleaned this one. So let's import another model. I already imported these from the scanner. So I'm importing this to the workspace. And now I can delete everything that I don't need. So same process, but with the mouse, it's a little easier to do the, this very precise. And here are actually more tools as well. Yeah, I need to hold shift to mark the stuff. So delete that. So that's it. That's very nice. So finish and it's done. First creating a mesh, I guess. Texture mapping, we don't need this, we don't need water tightness. Just take a look what happens. So here it is. Finish. Nice. Okay. So well, here's the scan of his van from the outside. Well, only the point cloud, you can still see all the markers we put in there. So I need to process this as well to create a mesh that I then can export. I will do the this to two millimeters. Smoothing is good. Marker hole, hole filling is also good. Let's take a look. Well, this one takes a little longer as this is quite a big scan, but... Well, the process is finished and this is good enough to properly work with it. Okay, so finish, let's see, yeah, that went a little faster. Okay, and we have a few more. So, all these models I now can import into Fusion. Um, well, I need to save this. Save, and then I'm importing a net from the computer, let's open and it takes a moment because it's quite a big net, but there it is already, that's nice. And let's don't do anything to it. So this is the workflow so far and how I proceed with the data now in my CAD software. You can see in the next video until then, good luck with your projects, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.